He's right there. You are super close. You almost made it. You almost go in there, go in there, go in there. Trap, trap, trap. Trigger the trap. I made it. They don't call me the trap daddy for nothing. What's going on, guys? So I'm coming up. I'm coming with a story time. This, I'm going to give a little bit of context to this story right now so you will understand the situation a little bit better. So, three nights ago, I was sleeping in my bed, and I was about to fall asleep, and I haven't fallen asleep yet. When you're half asleep and you're moving around, you're tossing and turning, you know what it's like. <clears throat> um, I tossed to my left side, and I moved my hand to my other side, and something bit my hand. Right when it bit my hand, <clears throat> um... I hit under the covers. I was like, what is that? I thought it was a person or something. Um, it scared me. I sat there for like two hours and I started sweating. And I tried to find my phone. It was on the side. I normally keep it on the side of my bed. But um, it wasn't there, so I started getting scared. <laughs> I didn't know what it was or if it was even still there or on me. So, eventually, one of my friends messaged me, luckily, at like 3 a.m. So, I'll, it lights up my room a little bit, and I peek. <clears throat> and there's nothing there. So, I, I grab my phone real quick, and I start texting him. I'm like, dude, something just bit my hand. <clears throat> he's like, what? Because he's on the other side of the world. He's from a different country. So, <clears throat> so it's a different time for him. And I it was like 3 a.m. here in America. And, um, eventually I turned my light on. I, like, walk really slowly, trying not to make any noise. And I go around the house lighting everything up. Um, I go to the bathroom first, and I'm sitting in the bathroom, and I look in the shower. There's dirt all in the shower. So that made me think that there was something or someone there in my house. So, I see the dirt in the shower, and then, um... My stomach drops a little bit, like, because I know there's something there. There's something here. I didn't even know if it was in the bathroom or not. So I peek around the shower curtain. Wasn't in the shower, luckily. <clears throat> so eventually I go walking around the whole house, turning the lights on, and I walk into the, my back room with my washer. And I walk around the corner and I see a tail, probably about this long. It looks like a rat tail. It runs around the corner. And then... uh. From there, I was like, uh, and I start texting everybody, like, I just caught, I just found a giant rat, and it bit me when I was asleep, and everybody starts freaking out, because obviously rats are, I mean, they're not good, and especially if they come to bite you, they've probably got some kind of issues, so eventually, I'm, like, trying to figure out where this thing is at, and then I lock it in that room, um, and then I trap it, so that way I can take a look at it. And I find out it was a possum. So a possum was in my house, in my bed, when I was sleeping, and he bit my hand. I had to go to the hospital the next day. And then I ended up catching him, and then the animal people came and got him. They said they weren't going to kill him. I don't know. <clears throat> but they said they weren't going to have to kill him because of the... I didn't have to get a rabies shot. Alright, I'm going to show you some footage of this. It was pretty funny. Not going to lie. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, one other thing is, when I explained that um, the black bar's on the side, so my phone is, um, it's like broken. There's something internally that's broken and it won't turn sideways. Um, I have it locked right now, so obviously it's not gonna turn sideways, but when I unlock it, it just like, it flips on its own randomly, so and it gets stuck like um, horizontal so I have to lock it whenever it gets too vertical it's like the um, calibration when you you know when you turn your phone sideways and then it flips it, it jacked up and it won't respond at all so that's what I'm dealing with here but I realize I can take footage and then flip it sideways if that makes any sense by editing editing it on the camera. Hmm, me. Something attacked my finger when I was trying to sleep and now I'm scared. I was in my shower 
him. Lol, what? My phone wasn't where I, where it was at. I don't know what he was saying here. I sat under my cover for two hours, sweating. When you messaged me, I was able to find it. L O O O L. Him, me showing him my bites. In the shower. It was in my shower. I don't know what it was. Animal. I was trying to sleep and I turned around and something about bit my finger. I don't know. But I couldn't hear anything. I ran and slapped really hard. I was walking around my house in underwear and shoes with a machete. I turned all the lights on, but I don't know where it's at. Or what it was. No, that's the weird part. I couldn't hear anything when it bit my finger. I went super quiet to listen for it. Him talking about snakes. Oh, floorboards creaked. I was just sitting in my bed. Him go get a gun, shoot it the American way. Me, I found it. It's a giant rat, dude. I'm gonna jack this little junk up. I trapped him in a tiny room. Him, I wonder how he got into your bed. Jack it up. I wouldn't do the machete though. You're gonna have a big mess to clean up. I prefer it. Where'd you go? Where you at? I know you're in here. He's in there. Oh, I can hear you back there. Oh, he's right there. You can see his tail. Aha, I found something now. Alright boys, I got a plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close all the doors except for the one that goes to the trap. And then we're gonna bait him into the trap 
then we're going to close the trap. All right, boys. Let's get it. All right, he's in there, closing this door. He can't get out. All right, boys, this is it. He's in there somewhere. Gonna close this door a little bit. I'm gonna try not to set off this trap. Close it just a little bit. I'm gonna close this door. <clears throat> I've barricaded this door so we can't push it open at all. <clears throat> I placed a flower trap right here on my floor. Um, that's the tracking. It didn't really work. He came in here and he still had himself a little bath. Right there. <laughs> that scared me. Alright, guys. Hey, little boy. -o. What are you doing in there? You can come out. You can come out. I see you. No, for real, though. Get in the trap. I haven't slept in like two days. Going on three days now. I'm gonna go check on the boy. -o. I'm scared every time I open the door that he's going to be right there and he's going to jump scare me and run. And I'm scared every time I look around this corner that he's going to jump out. That's why I make a noise so that way he doesn't, um... Uh... Hey there. You can come out. For real though. What if I stick something in there to scare him? Alright, here's the plan. I'm going full tack to bro on this little thing. I got my helmet just in case. And I've got a big stick. I've got my glove. And I've got my combat boots just in case he attacks my feet. We're going in. Time to boog. Oh shoot, it doesn't even fit in there. Run, run thing, run the other way. Doesn't fit in there. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna need you to go. Oh dang, he didn't go in the trap. He went the wrong way. I got him. Now I need him now I need him to go from right here to right here boys. This is it. Alright, I need you to go that way. He's right there. You are super close. You almost made it. You almost go in there, go in there, go in there. Trap, trap, trap. Trigger the trap. I made it. They don't call me the trap daddy for nothing. Yeah. Got you now. Got him. Full geared up. It really worked. I'm basically a pro at this now. Let me take all this junk off. I'm sweating. I was so scared. I thought he was going to come after me. It's okay, little rat thing. 